You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rusnak. As you likely gathered, just based off the commercial stop set there, the holidays are approaching, concert season is in full swing, and tonight, Sistema Winnipeg's Tannis M. Richardson Winter Concert takes place at the Seven Oaks Performing Arts Centre. Uh, we're certainly overdue for a Sistema check-in, and I'm delighted to say that we're going to get one now from none other than music director Naomi Wu, who has joined me in studio. Great to see you. Hi, Simon. Thanks for being here this morning. Uh, happy to be here. Uh, so just before we get to uh, Sistema, let me begin by saying a big, big congratulations on being awarded this year's Virginia Parker Prize. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. Uh, you know, for those who don't know, this is presented annually by the Canada Council for the Arts to a, quote, musician, instrumentalist, or classical music conductor under the age of 32 who demonstrates outstanding talent, musicianship, and artistic excellence, and who makes a valuable contribution to artistic life in Canada and internationally. Naomi, you're, you're <laughs> chuckling over there hearing the description of the prize. Uh, how, how does this feel? I mean, it's it's a great honor. And to be in, in the company of some of the people who've won this prize before, it feels like really, really large shoes to fill. Uh, I feel like I'm still just at the beginning of my career and I'm really excited about what's coming next. Yeah, I think we all are. And uh, you, you mentioned some of those shoes, um, joining the likes of Yannick nézet Sagan, James Anderson, and Marc-André Amelin. And, and, and you make history as the first female conductor to get the award. So big, big congrats. I, 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 I mean, I can only say what it means to have you here in Winnipeg. And we're really, really lucky to have you. Oh, I'm really lucky to be here. Uh, so let's get chatting about some of the many things that you do. Of course, assistant conductor uh, with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra. You're also leading the University of Manitoba Symphony Orchestra, who I think just had a concert yesterday. We did, and featuring the wonderful Annika Warkentine and Cadence Penner as soloists. They were brilliant. Uh, okay, so shout out to them. And all the work that you also do with Sistema, you're, you're a very busy individual. What, what has the after school music education program been like thus this year thus far? Well, it's been great to have kids back in schools really much more consistently than we have for the past couple of years. Um, Sistema uh, is a program that uses music as a tool for social change. And so much of that is about relationship building. It's about relationship building between us, the teaching artists and the students, but really about relationship building between the students. By playing in an orchestra together, kids learn what it feels like to make something together, you know, to really, really work together towards a common goal. And that when you play in an orchestra, what you create is so much more beautiful than the sum of all of the individual parts. And that really requires being together. Um, so it's been it's been such a pleasure this year. You talk about the the relationships that are being built. What what have you been hearing from the students and, and the staff who have been making music together again? Well, one of the things I always love is when you have a kid who isn't necessarily in Sistema, who comes to a teacher during the school day and says, hey, I want to join Sistema because my friend told me I have to. My friend told me it's the best. And that's what we're hearing from kids is that they're having a really great time after school. They're really loving learning their instruments and they're telling their other friends at school, listen, you've got to try this thing. Um I feel like that's how so many great things start, right? You hear from a friend and a friend does it and says, hey, you should really check this out. And it's it's so good to hear that the program is growing that way, right? And it's word of mouth and it's the students who are giving their validation of, of what they're doing to their peers and, and to their colleagues. And that has to be very rewarding, uh, not only for them, but for the whole community. I, I'm curious, what about for you personally? What, is, what does Sistema mean? Well, I mean, the students is really what it's all about. These kids are so resilient. They're inspiring. They're musical. They're thoughtful. Uh, they have just great ideas, and they have real dedication and spirit. I learn so much when I work with them, and I grow so much as a teacher, as a musician, uh, from the, the energy that they bring. So let's chat about um, this uh, concert coming up tonight. Um, so upwards of 150 students participate in Sistema. It's a partnership with Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra and two divisions, uh, Seven Oaks School Division and the Winnipeg School Division. Uh, this concert takes place at SOPAC and it features both 
groups, right? That's right. It features students from King Edward Community School and Elwick Community School, as well as high school students who went through the programs at these two elementary schools and are now continuing their musical education in high school. And something that's really special about the system and program and that you'll see in this concert is that we have a really wide range of ages and levels that all make music together. We only have three different groups of students, despite having students who've been playing their instrument for one year all the way up to, at this point, 10 years. Mm. Um, and what makes that really, really unique as a musical learning opportunity, when you have a big group of students who are all at different ages and different levels, is that they learn to work together, but in particular, they learn the importance of peer mentorship and teaching each other. And some of the most rewarding experiences are, happens to make my job very easy. When us as teachers, we're not doing the te the teaching. The students are actually teaching each other. And that's really special because it's a testament to the bonds that the students are forming, but it's also a testament to the skills that these students are learning. Teaching and learning from our peers is a valuable skill that we can all take with us. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Uh, and that's going to be on full display in, in tonight's uh, concert, uh, the Tannis M. Richardson uh, Winter Concert. Uh, tell us tell us more. Well, the concert is named for Tannis M. Richardson, who um, very, very generously uh, was responsible, along with Michael Nozick, for giving the donations to start the Sistema Endowment Fund some years ago. And the Sistema program relies on donations from people like you uh, to run and to provide music education every single day after school for our 150 students, as well as provide these students with instruments and all of the tools required to, to play together in an orchestra. So it's a tremendous undertaking. It's an expensive undertaking. These programs are offered at no cost to the students and their families. And so that's why donations are so valuable to our program and why we're so grateful to TANIS for the endowment fund donation that really is helpful for securing the long-term future of Sistema, for being confident that we can continue offering this program priming to our students for many, many years to come. Especially this holiday time of year, I mean, um, a small monetary gift gives the gift of music, uh, which I know almost sounds cliche, right? The gift of music, but that's exactly what this is. I mean, you've been talking about just how... Um, Fundamentally, it shapes so many of these students and what they're doing and the connections that they're making. And and, and um, that little investment goes such a long way in Sistema. And we get to see that through this holiday concert. Um, what is going to be featured in, in the winter concert? I'm, I'm curious, musically speaking. Well, it's a whole range of things, as is pretty typical of Sistema. So everything from some classical holiday favorites from the Messiah, of course, some film music that's always a lot of fun, uh, some Christmas and winter songs, and uh, as a special treat, uh, Walking in the Air by Howard Blake from The Snowman, which will mm. be a beautiful choral closer to the mm. program. Lots to look forward to. Uh, the concert takes place 6.30 p.m. That's tonight, December 9th, at the Seven Oaks Performing Arts Center, 711 Jefferson Avenue, which is just a, a great auditorium for those who haven't been. Um, oh, yeah. It's just a wonderful space. Gives plenty of room, uh, like, like we heard, about 150 students. I mean, this is everybody coming to make music together, a large hall to uh, enjoy uh, that that wonderful sound and uh, it should be a, a wonderful concert the tennis and richardson winter concert tonight uh, naomi great having you in studio as always thanks so much simon